Say you plan on going to the bar for New Year's Eve, having a few drinks. We all know what the message is. Don't drink and drive. We've heard it time and time again. But there's one police force in the GTA that's upping up their ante when it comes to getting this message across. They're doing it through social media, through a creative way. And they say their, their presence on social media is actually helping one tweet at a time. Forget about the outside world and enter a tawdry fortress of solitude at Lotel, New York Regional Police. We're, we're trying to put the message out there in any way we can, and our real message this year is that we're not giving up. For the last three years, York Regional Police have been finding humorous and sarcastic ways to send their message across that drinking and driving is unacceptable. On top of this video of Hotel York Regional Police showing the lodging options if you drink and drive, YRP also today posted this bill totaling close to $13,000 of charges you can expect if caught impaired behind the wheel. So just the legal fees alone, you can be looking at upwards of, you know, $14,000, just straight legal fees trying to fight an impaired driving charge. So we're just trying to come up with some new and different ways um, to message the same thing, just in a different, in a different way. Uh, is it working? I don't know. The message gets out there. We see it on our Twitter followers. But the sad reality is the number of impaired driving charges in York Region goes up every year, year after year. Last year was uh, over 1,200 charges we laid for impaired driving related offenses. This year we're up over 1,500 already and we're not even finished the year. However, it is helping them in other departments. In the last year, they gained 30,000 Twitter followers from these quirky posts and that has helped their stories get out to more people. For instance, yesterday we had um, a case where we put out some information on two suspects we were looking to identify. Our investigators have been working on the case for over a month. As a last resort, we ended up putting out their images uh, on social media and through the media. And within two hours, uh, we were getting calls and tips as to who these people were. They were identified. And yesterday evening, they turned themselves in with a lawyer. Police are hoping that in the future, this campaign will create a bigger impact and hopefully eventually decrease the number of people who decide to drink and drive.